Hi guys, I'm Diana and this is Narrow Dreams um, and today I'm going to share with you um, a job that all boaters have to do. Um, it's, not, uh, it's not something you would do in a house so this is specific to boats really and that's washing the outside of your boat. So you don't generally have to wash the outside of your house do you? But Today is boat washing day, so I shall uh, leave that to Neil because I'm not even tall enough to reach the middle of the roof, to be honest, and I'll film him doing a bit. So, before he starts, he's going to take all the stuff off the roof, so the, uh, the, the picnic table's getting full, we've got all the plants on there, and fenders, and the life ring, um, I imagine he's going to take the... Uh, washing line down and, and whatnot um, and then he's going to wash this side of the boat at least today. So the only uh, downside to, to mooring near trees is that everything that blows off the tree lands on your roof. So Neil is now sweeping down the edges where it gathers. I'm filming it purely in the interests of uh, capturing it if he falls off you understand <laughs> and he knows that's what I'm doing because uh, those of you familiar with boats will know what he's stood on those of you not familiar may not so I'll come around this side and just capture that he stood on a four inch wide ledge on the edge of the boat just sweeping it down and that's about a ten foot deep canal so hopefully He'll, uh, he'll manage to stay on and sweep all the way down the side. I'm sure he will. So this is, uh, this is obviously the first part of the uh, boat washing um, scenario. I know there are lots of you out there who wash your boats weekly and that's great. They look amazing. Um, unfortunately, we're too... Uh, busy slash lazy to do it once a week so this will actually be the first time that she's had a proper wash we do wipe her down now and again and I've sort of washed her down a few times with the the brush dipped in the canal because we've had sap from the trees and stuff but this is her actual proper first you know proper wash So Neil's uh, now been in, got a bucket and in an effort to be environmentally friendly because obviously it's all going to run off and go into the canal. His bucket contains water. So look at our lovely dirty roof where all the stuff's been stored. It's not that bad everywhere. That's where the, uh, the pole and the molten stuff have been stored. So as you can see, Neil is in the process of um, cleaning the roof. Uh, hopefully you can see this side looks a bit cleaner than the other. It's still soapy at the minute, but it is cleaner. So obviously all that water um, that he's cleaning with will run off into the canal. Um, so in the bucket is a mixture of Ecova washing up liquid. Um, and bicarbonate of soda and white vinegar hopefully that's going to be enough to uh, cut through the sap that the tree's been um, dropping and uh, any accumulated muck so he's, uh, he's obviously going down the difficult side first um, and then he'll, uh, he'll come and do the other side uh, and then once the roof's done He'll do the other side. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit longer than uh, you know your Sunday morning cleaning of the car, but hopefully, it's going to be worth it, and it'll it'll look a bit better for its uh, for its little trip out tomorrow. Let's just have a look what it looks like before it's washed so it's 
looking quite dull and as you can see the edges need a bit of cleaning actually a lot of it has got grass on it because they've cut the grass um, last couple of days and it's still on the edges you can see where the centre ropes have been laying because the dirt from the trees gathers and you can see the worst of it is at this back end um, and this is where the the tree overhangs most and you can see just how filthy it's it's actually got and obviously we're in the solar panel is going to um, make it a little bit more efficient I shouldn't wonder um, but you can see on the sides of the boat where the sap stripped down and it's a bit dirty I mean you know it's a beautiful tree it's a lovely oak tree up there um, but when it's on your uh, on your paintwork then you know you want to be cleaning it off so that's what he's doing as you can see he's about a third of a way down on the roof on the far side at the minute so as you can see Neil's uh, near the back of the boat now on the first side uh, just giving the solar panel a good scrub so hopefully that should uh, should get it working um, better how's it going Neil is it coming off all right, all the sap and stuff? Not really. Not really? No, right, okay. So lo lots of scrubbing involved then. Yeah, okay. Well, it, it will look uh, marginally better, I would think. Um, we are hoping um, to get it painted this summer. Um, it's not too bad, but, uh, you know, we want to make sure for winter it's uh, it's got no rough spots that are going to get worse over winter and stuff but for the time being it'll just do if it looks a bit cleaner really so Neil has done one side of the roof and you can see how nice and clean that is and you can see the difference um, on the bit that he hasn't yet done so that is what he's just about to start now. So this is the top of the boat, all nice and clean and tiny. Have a look down the side. The side of the boat's not been done because it looks like chuck it down. So weather holds 
tomorrow. That can be done tomorrow, but the worst bit was the roof. And as you can see, that is now all really nice and clean and shiny. Nice clean solar panel as well. And from this end, nice shiny roof. So uh, that was the um, washing of the boat roof. Um, that was Monday. It's now Thursday evening. Um, and it hasn't stopped raining since. So basically we haven't got any more of it done. But I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, give it a like. Um, if you're not already subscribed, um, please do click the subscribe button. And then you'll be able to click the notifications button. You can only do that once you're subscribed and that will let you know when there's any new content posted on the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.